Welcome! My name is Lisa Bartle, and I am one of the reference librarians at the FAO Library. This video covers APA 7th edition reference list citations. Let's begin. While you may cite many kinds of objects in APA, I will be covering the four most common. The book, the article, specifically the scholarly peer-reviewed article, an essay in an edited book, and a web page. In APA, the author's last name appears first, followed by a comma, a space, and then the initial of the first name and a period. Looking at the bottom example first and moving up, you can see Bartle, comma, space, L, and a period. Even if the first name is provided, you do not use it. Using initials is the rule for APA. Moving up the list, the next example includes the use of the suffix junior, but could be senior or a numeral such as the third or the fourth. That's last name, comma, space, first initial, period, comma, space, and the suffix. Moving up to the article example, you can see that the two authors are formatted in the same way. If there is a middle name or middle initial in the item, it too is displayed with an initial only. Make sure to place a space between the initials. After the first name, there will be a period, comma, space, and the ampersand, and then the second name. Looking at the last example, this is the model for up to 20 names in the citation. Each name follows the same model, with a comma space between each, and with the comma ampersand preceding the last name. If your object has more than 20 names, only 20 will be visible. There is an example of that format in the handout that accompanies this video. A quick word on Anonymous as an author. Anonymous is not the same thing as no authors. Some items have no author, in which case you will use the title of the item as the author. But a government author, such as the FBI, is an author, and a corporate author, such as the American Psychological Association, is also an author. Anonymous is used only as an author when it is listed as the author. If you have questions about an item's authorship, please consult a reference librarian, either in person or through the Ask a Librarian button on the FAO Library's homepage. After the author's name is the year. The year is wrapped in parentheses followed by a period. For many items, the year will be sufficient. However, some items, such as web pages, popular magazines, and newspapers, will require greater specificity. A newspaper can come out daily, so providing only a year, or just a year and a month, would not be helpful to find the item you are citing. Magazines can come out weekly or monthly, so you need to provide the date that is most useful. If it is a monthly magazine, the month alone will suffice. Since web pages can be updated at any time, you will frequently need a complete date. The format for that is parenthesis, year, comma, space, month spelled out, and in title case, then the date, then close the parentheses and end with a period. Some scholarly journals will use a season to signify the period within a year for the issue. If that is the case, Follow the year with a comma, then the season, in title case. Items without a date will take N period D period in lower case with no space between them and wrapped in parentheses. Before continuing, let's make sure you understand the difference between title case and sentence case. The top examples are in title case. Title case is how we learn to write titles in elementary school. There is an initial capital, and all the big words also have an initial capital letter. In the examples provided, you can see small words such as in and of that do not have an initial capital letter. Sentence case is how we write sentences. Looking at the examples under sentence case, there is still an initial capital, and there is capitalization after the colon at the beginning of the subtitle in the Smart Talk example. 
There are capitals in proper nouns, such as United States, but all other words follow the sentence rule, capitalizing only those words that are proper nouns. The notes on the right read, only journal, magazine, and newspaper names are in title case in APA. Looking at it in another way, article titles are in sentence case, book titles are in the sentence case, an essay's title in an edited book is in sentence case, and web page titles are in sentence case. Here you can see the examples following the rules just described. In the first example, the title of the book is in sentence case and is italicized because books are italicized in APA, ending with a period. The article's title is in sentence case, followed by a period. The essay's title is in sentence case, followed by a period. And the web page's title is in sentence case, followed by a period. Addition and editors apply only to books or essays in edited books. Looking at the book example, you can see the addition note follows the title and it is wrapped in parentheses. The superscript of the ND following the number is acceptable, as is the ND without superscripting. That is followed by a lowercase ED and a period. After you close the parentheses, notice that the period following the title of the book was removed and replaced to end this section. There are other kinds of addition notes, such as revised, new revised, and others. However, the most common is the numeral. If you don't see an addition statement on the item, then it is probably a first edition and you don't include the addition note for a first edition. N Notice also the addition note is not in italics. Skipping down to the essay in an edited book, you can see the word in is a signal that now the information for the book is to follow the title of the essay. Place in, then the editor's names with the initial of the first name, a period, and a space, then the last name. In this example, you can see that there are two editors. So their names are separated with an ampersand. After their names comes the parenthetical note that they are editors. If there is a single editor, it appears as a parenthesis, capital E, lowercase d, and a period, parentheses, and a comma. If there are two or more editors, it appears as parentheses, capital E, lowercase d, lowercase s, and a period, parentheses, and a comma. So ed for one and eds for two or more. Next comes the title of the book where you can find the essay. It is in italics because books are in italics. It is in sentence case, and it is followed by the page span where the essay can be found. It is formatted as parenthesis, lowercase pp, followed by a period, space, and the page span where the essay can be found in the book. Then close the parenthesis and end with a period. Notice that the page span is not in italics. Also, the citations are long enough now to show the hanging indent. To create a hanging indent, type up all your citations, then highlight them all. Type Control T. In Mac, Command T will do the same thing. All citations should be double spaced, but because this is a slide, I couldn't fit double spacing. Publisher, Journal, Website. The next piece of an APA citation is the responsible party. In the case of a book, this is the publisher. In the case of an article, it is the name of the journal, magazine, or newspaper. And in the case of a web page, it is the overall site that the web page belongs to, if there is one. 
Starting with the book example, you can see the name of the publisher is Pearson Education. It's a proper noun, so it is in title case, followed by a period. Skipping to the essay in an edited book, you see again the name of the publisher in title case, followed by a period, in this case, Library Press. The article example has the journal's name in title case and in italics. A note here on the ampersand. The journal gets to choose its own name. If the journal's name has an ampersand, then you use the ampersand. If the journal's name uses and, then you use and. And if the formatting is strange or has unusual capitalization, you copy what the journal says its name is. After the journal's name, there's a comma, a space, and the volume number where the article can be found. Immediately after the volume number, with no space, is an open parenthesis, the issue number, and a close parenthesis. Follow that with a comma, a space, and the page span of the article, and a period to end the section. Both the title of the journal and the volume number are in italics. However, neither the comma between them nor the issue number are in italics. Also, while the page span for the essay used PP period, the page span for the article does not. In the web page example, the website's title follows the web page's title. The website's title is in title case, but it is not in italics. Next is a period, a space, and the URL of the web page. There is no ending punctuation after the URL. DOI, Digital Object Identifier. A DOI is a unique alphanumeric string assigned to each item. The DOI system is a pay-to-play system, so not all digital objects have DOIs. It is primarily used for articles in scholarly journals. An article's DOI might be found on the first page of the article, but sometimes it can only be found in the database where you found the article. Whether on the article or in the database, DOIs have been formatted in several different ways over the years, but you must use the current APA format, so convert it to the way I am about to show you. The examples shown are without any formatting, simply the alphanumeric string that is the DOI, so you can recognize it. If the article has a DOI, you will then end the citation with the DOI, as in the first example. The current formatting for the DOI is as follows, https colon forward slash forward slash doi.org forward slash, then the DOI. Do not add additional spaces to this formatting and do not end it with a period. If the item does not have a DOI and was found in a library database, you may end your citation with the page numbers and a period. If the item was not found in a library database and does not have a DOI, provide the URL of the article. Do not end the URL with a period. In the examples, you can see that the URL and the DOI are on different lines. That is not the rule. The rule is trust your word processor. Place the DOI or URL after the pagination. If the word pr processor keeps it on the same line, that is correct. If the word processor moves it to a different line, that is correct. If it adds the line break somewhere, that is correct. You are not to change the DOI or the URL from what the word processor does. The URL may be blue and underlined, or it may be pure text. 
The important part is that it should be functional if it is either copied and pasted or clicked. In the final slide, you can see the finished citations. Again, they should be double spaced, but I couldn't fit them on the slide with that formatting. Please make sure to take a look at the APA Citation Library Guide. Go to the library's homepage, click on Library Guides, go to the Citing and Writing subject, then the first bullet, the APA Citation Guide. There are four sections to the 7th edition tab, which includes one for the reference list, one for in-text citations, one for student paper formatting, and one for professional paper formatting. On the tab for references, template, and examples, you will find the most current version of the PowerPoint, the PDF handout for APA, and two versions of the video, one with only the video, and one with PlayPosit additions for interactivity. If you have questions, you may either click the Ask a Librarian button on the FAO Libraries homepage, or you may schedule a consultation with me, Lisa Bartle, using Research Appointments button also on the Libraries homepage, or you may send me an email. Please understand that while I am happy to explain APA to you and to answer questions, I will not proofread your reference list. For more information, please see other FAL Library guides and videos on a variety of topics. Mm -hmm.